from the footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you an NFL Week 4 preview between the Miami Dolphins and the San Diego Chargers. The Dolphins travel way out west this week. Six hour flight. I've taken that flight before and it is brutal. But what they have to do getting off the plane, getting off the bus to the stadium <clears throat> is establish the tempo of this ball game. The Chargers defense would love to come in and play fast and aggressive, especially on their heart, their, their home turf. The Dolphins have to come in and dominate up front and also set the pace of the game. If the Dolphins can come in and set the pace of this ball game with that first drive, that can go a long way in taking these guys out of the ball game completely. The way they can set the pace is get Daniel Thomas rolling early in this matchup. Daniel Thomas has proven to be a solid rookie, a great find for the Dolphins. And they have a great opportunity to get him involved in this ball game early. I still have some questions about that Chargers run defense. I think Thomas can have a, a huge day this week against the Chargers. Also offensively, I want to see that creativity get back in the game plan. The Dolphins used to be the the prime example for a team using creativity, getting different guys in different spots, creating different mismatches. I want to see the Dolphins get back to that. That's when they were successful on offense. If they can get back to those creative days, the Dolphins can pose a lot of problems for a lot of teams. Defensively, you have to come in and they have to get pressure on Phillip Rivers. The pressure can't come from the outside. Rivers does a great job of stepping up in the pocket. The pressure has to come from the interior. So if you want to disguise different stunts, different blitzes, a lot of A-gap pressure, it, that has to be in the forefront when facing the San Diego Chargers defenses. The secondary has to play better. They have to do a better job of playing above the rim against the Chargers. Speaking of the Chargers and playing above the rim, play above the rim this week against the Miami Dolphins secondary. As much as I like the Dolphins secondary, the Chargers have some opportunities to win these jump passes against the secondary. They're a little bit, uh, they're, they're not as aggressive as, as they should be and they do a bad job of judging passes in the air. I think the Chargers have the advantage as far as number one, with the leaping ability and also with the ball skills. Uh, and I, speaking of that Chargers offense again, I like the what I, I like what I see out of Ryan Matthews. This young man is proven to be a, a huge uh, pickup for the Chargers. Great running skills, great vision, and is holding on to the football. And he has shaken the injury bug, knock on wood. But I think he's doing a great job, and they have to continue that type of offensive balance. Defensively, you have to make sure you come in and take advantage of the Dolphins predictability on offense. The Dolphins are very predictable offensively. The defense can figure out what they're gonna do within the first two series of the ball game. The Dolphins don't really change it up a little bit. So I think the Chargers can come in after the first couple of series, maybe about the third series and really get aggressive against the Dolphins. And you wanna make Chad Henney stay in the pocket and make accurate passes. One thing that he does do well is get outside the pocket and move the chains with his legs, keep him in the pocket, force him to go through his reads, and therefore that secondary, that talented secondary of the Chargers can have a lot of success. Now let's look at some X factors in this ball game. Starting with the Dolphins, the X factor in this matchup has to be Daniel Thomas. Daniel Thomas has done a great job so far this, this rookie year, and he's gonna continue to do a great job throughout the season. Give him the carries, control the pace, and he should have some success. The Chargers X Factor has to be Eric Weddle. If Weddle can disguise his coverages and get there at the last second against Chad Henney, he can come away with at least an interception in this ball game. I'm looking at this matchup and I'm thinking, well, team traveling out west could be posed, could pose to be a problem. I'm going with the Chargers in this ball game on the strength that they have a great passing game and the defense flies around the football. And I love the way the secondary matches up with the Dolphins wide receivers. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan. And listen to the football game plan radio show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern time at blocktalkradio.com slash football game plan.